Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age. Okay, so I feel like we've wrapped things up pretty good here in camp. Let's gather our party and venture forth. And I'm off. Uh I feel like after recent events, let's take yes. Alistair. I wanna Hmm. I was going to say I want to maybe take Zevran and Leliana, but then I feel like this that's a really... Between the three rogues and a single warrior, I feel like that's they're a little bit fragile. So, let's take Sten yes. for some combat, you know, for, for some big boy combat stuff. And mm, let's take Liliana. Indeed. Let's hope we don't reg regret this. Okay, we're gonna. I assume. I guess our since our camp is like this, it's not necessarily like in relation to something in the world. I, I don't know. I, f I feel like since we were here, our camp should be somewhere around here. Something else I noticed is that uh, we can travel directly to the Pearl from the world map, which is pretty cool. But we want to go down to Lake Kalanhad. Okay, yeah, see, we started there. Uh, we're going to go down to Lake Kalanhad and see if we can encounter uh, or work on some of the quests in that area. Oh, jeez! It's another bear scarn. Okay, this this is a good opportunity. I need to look at Alistair's tactics. Uh, he is set to defender. Okay, so I'm guessing this these like correlate across. Okay, I. Let's set him to be more cautious, maybe. Okay, so. This is this is probably not an ideal situation. Oh, oh, geez. Of course, I've noticed it kind of in retrospective, uh, or in retrospect. This, uh, look at me and Alistair back to back. That's epic. Okay, I've noticed this game has a really bad habit of spawning enemies in front of and behind you, which is not great. Okay, Sten, big boy. <laughs> See, I leave my character alone for a second, and she uses all of her abilities. Stab him in him belly. Okay, see now, this, this is situationally a little bit different than fighting just bears or wolves. Because these are creatures that are affected... Why does this wolf have chain mail? <laughs> These are animals that have been affected by the blight. So, they're not just, you know, actual like, pupper dogs, you know? Um, got some elf root here. I, you know, I guess I could be taking elf root and working on making some... What is this? Okay, these are blocked paths. Uh, I, I, I should be probably kind of in the time between episodes. I should probably work on uh, like making some potions and things like that using uh, Morgan's potion making ability. Okay, so, oh hey, we have a level up. 
So, okay, I, I, I hate that I have to do this pretty much every time. Okay, that's how much she learns and reasons, but it, it does connect to her uh, class abilities and things like that. Uh, constitution. Okay, I. I know this isn't like ideal, but I do kind of want to pump. Uh, just just do the Dark Souls thing and just pump pump your ability to do damage and pump your ability to take damage. Um. Do we... Does she use two weapons? No, I think she uses one. Um, don't... She's got some points into archery, but we're not really using archery that much. Okay, uh... Okay, let's maybe do that. Okay. Everybody's just crackling with sexual energy right now. Uh... Is this... Okay, we know we need to be at, like, an inn. I guess this could be the inn. The Spoiled Princess. Mage's Collective. Oh, okay, we got another one of these guys. Uh, let's see about some of these quests. Da, da, da. Power, places of power... Mm, amulets humming. Da, 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 da. Evil. Oh, power. Deep road. Oh, okay. We're probably going to the deep roads at some point. So, and we we need to go to the forest. Uh, hey, okay, yeah, that seems fine. The activities of the Maleficarum on my doorstep did not go unnoticed. Now I'm in danger of being brought before the Templars myself. A small band of drifters claim to have seen me practicing forbidden arts. And they have left to deliver testimony of my alleged deeds. Uh, excuse me. To the Chantry. I asked Mages Collective to find and stop these false witnesses by any means necessary. They were traveling on uh, They were traveling on along the road from Lothering to Denerum. Where their lies will seal my fate. That seems fine. Comes a time in each young mage's life when he must strike forth from beneath the shadow of his mentor. Okay, let's... Uh, deliver documents and congratulations to my apprentices who will no doubt be uninformed as to the contents of this of the, of the missive. The apprentices' names are Stark, Alina, and Sheath. I have... Okay... Seems similar to that one we've already taken. I, I, I'd like to take some side quests, and I I don't know if I will do them on camera or off camera, because, I, you know, I guess some side quests are more interesting than others. Some are just basic, like, go here and do thing kind of quests. But, um, but I guess we'll see. But I, I'm definitely, uh, the, the money is what's attractive to me. My worst fears have been realized. A band of devilish Maleficarum are performing their profane rituals within close proximity to my own sanctum. This cannot stand. I, Jubasto, charge he who accepts this request to destroy the fiends before their evil brings unwanted attention from either Templars or demons to my back door. Travel to the... Uh, see? as more stuff from the... The forest. Herbal magic. Disaster! So consumed have I been in my personal pr uh, projects that I've neglected to collect vital components of the herbal remedy I use to sharpen my mind for thoughts of the other world. This dude needs his drugs. He, he needs his drugs. 
Uh, hey, he wants deep mushrooms. He wants his drugs. Uh, ten. Okay, yeah, that's... I mean, we're gonna come across those anyway, and now we at least have a reason to, to pick them up and make some money off of them. Let's go in here. I hope this is the inn that we're looking for. Man, I, I love loading in through a door into the back of one of my NPC's heads. Disgruntled patron, shady patron, innkeeper. Rana. Yes? Oh, so here's another one right. of our Let ladies. Let me take a look. Why? What did he do to deserve this? Run away! Where's this door go? I guess nowhere. Uh, pardon me, I need to take a drink really quick. I normally do not drink sodas. And I've kind of lost my taste for them. But, just kind of on a whim, I grabbed a small Diet Dr. Pepper out of the fridge. And I, I regret the it. Princess. Is there something I can get for you? I'm gonna actually just go back to drinking water. But, mostly because when you cut out sugar as much as I have, uh, you taste just how bad artificial sweeteners are. Uh, good day and welcome to this poor princess. Is there something I can get you? Is there a Brother Genetivi here? Brother Gen... No. Uh, no, of course not. I've never heard of him. I don't believe you. No, no. I, I haven't seen any knights. He's lying. Nonsense. Why would I lie to you? I have no Listen, idea. The person you're looking for isn't here. You should be on your way as soon as possible. Okay, uh... Persuasion. No, I'm not in any kind of trouble. If you want ale, wine, or a warm bed for the night, I can help you. If not, I have nothing else to offer. Bed's only warm when you're in it. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Ah, uh, I guess... It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's the story. So we, we just got more of an explanation <laughs> than a lot of the taverns in Skyrim. That's, uh... Of course. If there's come, anything come I on. can get you, just let me know. Okay, I can... It still shows an objective marker for him. Let's see. Did our quest update. Okay. It didn't. See, he still has the quest marker. Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Let's see about of a drink. What I would you know. like? I like that little bell, like just walked through the door. Let's actually why not? Let's buy a couple of health potions. Because we should. Uh Okay. New screenshot. That it's so weird to me that there's essentially like achievement screenshots in this. Okay. Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Okay. Of course. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. So I have my suspicions. Okay, I think I might can talk. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? Hmm. This isn't a, an actual door. Alright, so maybe this is one of those kind of things where you go outside and then you'll be confronted with somebody who's now, like, you ask, Look at that! <laughs> Uh, 
Cultist Reaver. Fight! I cannot believe it. Sten is dead again. I mean, I know he basically draws aggro. She does use two weapons. No, wait. No, I just... The arrow in her shoulder confused me. Thank you for helping Alistair, Liliana, because I sure wasn't paying attention. Ooh. Red steel. That sounds interesting. Like, that instantly evoked something for me. Okay, so we got attacked by some cultists. And we have a level up. Which we are going to put into our damage output and our health. <laughs> and I think... Yeah, I like being able to inflict bleed. That's cool. Um Well, did we get sorry. I, I don't I don't know why, like, even though I understand this is a compass rose, why I keep click clicking that thinking I'm You were ambushed by a group of men uh, I keep clicking that thinking it's the, the journal, sorry. Uh, you were ambushed by a group of men outside the spoiled princess. There is something suspicious going on here. Could Waylon have led you astray? Seek him out Good grief. I mean, well, I mean, okay, that does kind of make sense. Hey. Okay, let's take a look at that armor really quick and see if Alistair would like it. He cannot wear it because he does not have enough strength. And I don't know that Sten has high enough strength for it either. That's okay. Sten is also injured. He has a cracked skull. Uh, it's a penalty to his cunning. That's fine. Uh, that seems like pretty good armor, but it requires 32 strength. What? Okay, so we need to level... Probably going to have to level Sten up a couple of times. Jeez, that's some low cunning there, bud. So... Yeah, we'll probably have to level him up a couple times to make that worth it. Okay, what else did we have? That was just a misclick. I'll have you know. Uh, I'm trying to see... Okay, we're not worried about that right now. Okay, we can't... Okay. Uh, we just have to... I guess we just have to go back to... I, I don't really feel like doing any more... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I don't know why I thought there was more. We were okay. This is this is okay. Okay, let's go to Redcliffe and report that woman's husband's death to her. I'm guessing just go to Redcliffe itself. It also feels strange to me that there wouldn't be a crossing here, that the road goes this far over. This must be, like, some fierce marshland or something. Okay. We are looking for a... What is her name? Arenia. Okay. We 
shall see if there's anything else new here in town as well. You never know. It seems like there is some actual change to the world as the game progresses in that this... I know this is the wooden fish, like, totem, but every time I see it, it looks like there's a person standing there. Uh... Yeah, it seems like as we progress through the game, some things do change. Who are you? You're just a guard. I wonder if there's any update to this. Hmm. Nope. That's fine. And the good thing is, there's uh, a Blackstone guy here. Okay. Villager, villager. I guess let's check the church first. Jetta. <laughs> Volkswagen. There she is. Yes. All right. Let me take a look. I feared this day would come. Okay. So, that is a quest wrapped up. Let's see if there's anything new with Mother Hannah. There Hannah. are many gone who we must honor. But we must also remember those who aided us in our darkest hour. Yeah, definitely not you. Like, I feel like if you if you were going into battle, like, imagine, you were going into battle, and you asked a preacher if he could Your efforts say a prayer for you. He'd be like, yeah, absolutely. But the Chantry are like, oh, the Maker doesn't work like that. Okay, uh, let's do our due diligence and maybe... I remember there being a store. Yeah. You never know, there might be a quest here. Or, it's completely empty. Allow me. <laughs> I could do that for you. Can you, though? <laughs> That's just going to be the story of this playthrough. Just a bunch of rogues saying, Oh, I can, I can unlock that. Well, actually, no, I can unlock that. Well, truth be told, I can unlock that. And none of them actually being able to unlock it. Like, I can I could pick a lock better than you people. Okay. So, I'm guessing there's not anything else really to do in Redcliffe at the moment. Okay, that's just not a real door. Okay, so can we hit the map from here? Or do we have to actually go to... Okay, yeah. Um, it's interesting, This the blight seems to be moving straight towards the Civil War. Uh, nothing possibly bad could come from that. Now, I wonder, like, from here, going to Denerim, probably going to go towards the Blight, right? Well, let's... Let's actually go up to here and see if we can skirt it, maybe? I just feel like... Well, I don't know. We did we did encounter some blight creatures up here, so it seems like maybe the uh Hello? Okay. Oh, adventurer. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Darkspawn on the way in. Oh. Darkspawn, you don't say. Right, Darkspawn. We killed a whole band of them on the way up from Lothering. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? I'm here to stop you. Oh, you're one of these people. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? Okay, let's see if we can intimidate it. Hey, no need to get pushy. We were just in it for the experience. 
Yay, we were able to resolve it without violence. Good video game. Good, good game. Good game. Good times. All right, now, <laughs> now we're just going to hit the map again and travel up through the coastlands. That sounds like it would be a very pretty place. Along the waking Will sea. You stop eating. <laughs> Rush them and spring your own ambush for a change. <laughs> Let's listen. Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. Leave and skillfully evade their clueless trap. Okay. Can I actually... So we have to go, we actually do have to go around them. Trap right ahead. Where? She said trap. Oh geez, we're gonna have to get into combat with these guys, aren't we? Okay, let's just go. Trap right ahead. Oh, see, I guess that is that what she's detecting as a trap. Trap right ahead. <laughs> Heck yeah, we got through two encounters without having to kill anyone. Mm. Mm. Chef's kiss. Okay. Uh, what we? Oh yeah, we were confronting this guy. <laughs> Excuse me. I was wondering why are we here? What were we here for again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwarven craft. Dwarven crafts. Could you? Okay. Could you imagine sending someone like into a trap? And being like, oh, jeez, thank goodness that's over. And then they show up. You're back? Yep. I am blessed beyond all men. I have been chosen to serve Andraste herself. My brothers died in the service of Andraste. May she draw their souls to her and cast yours into oblivion. For Andraste! <coughs> Oh, honey, you're outnumbered. Oh, you're just throwing punches! <laughs> Freaking... <laughs> Alistair. I, I, you know, I was ragging on how he kept dying. But I love when he just shield bashes someone. Just into the dirt. Um, uh, Yeah, let's look around this house. So I'm guessing that guy, um, that guy, oh geez, I bet this is who we're looking for. Oh, the, the, okay, hold on. It said the body of the real Waylon, but then it said corpse underneath it. So I read it as the body of the real, the real Waylon corpse. Let's see. Genitivi's research. What is this? A gift. Okay, see, I, I'm wondering about the gifts. Like, who to give them to. Because, alright, uh, there's two people that I feel like I can give that to that would make sense. They're both people with, like, religious backstories. Uh, well, I guess Leliana is still a, a person of faith. It's definitely not Sten. Oh, speaking of Sten. Buddy. Pal. You need to get bigger. His next level up, I'm I'm gonna definitely... Bravery. This warrior's unwavering courage grants bonuses to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance, as well as a bonus to critical chance that increases 
proportionally to the number of enemies above two that he's engaging. Okay, that is probably good for him. Okay, uh, so let's see how our quest updated. But yeah, I'm guessing that that guy is part of some, like, maybe like monastic order or something that is sworn to protecting this urn of ashes. Village of Haven in the mountains of the west might have some clues to the location of the urn. Brother Genitivi must have gone to Haven. Okay. Continue his search. Okay, so now we have we have a idea of where to go. You know, I wonder if I had just gone in that room to begin with and looked around if things would have been different. But see, that's why I like games like this, because even if there's not, it felt like I could have. Okay, so let's, let's save. Feels like a good thing to do. I, I'm forever paranoid of either the game crashing or me losing the recording somehow. Uh, particularly... Dwarven crafts. Uh, this this game, I wouldn't say this game is buggy, but uh, it does not play nice with like alt tabbing. It's like if I wanted to alt tab and look at my recording, oh geez, it would it would go it'd go to duty real fast. Okay, there's Haven. Village of Haven, a remote village nestled in the mountains. It's not even marked on most maps. Okay, let's go there. Oh, geez, we're going to travel down through the... through the blight zone. Makes sense. Probably Darkspawn. Oh, no, it's just this merchant guy. Let's pick this elf root. It's free elf root. Does he have anything we need? You have coin, stranger? I'm have, I'm about to sneeze. Hang on. Can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven. Oh jeez, I'm back. Yeah, what's going on in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for: travel or trade. Understand? Sure. He's he's here for travel and trade, not for talk. No tome of skill and sundry. One point of one point to spend on a skill, but is rendered useless afterwards. Okay. Seems decent. Actually, I should sort it like this. I'm gonna sell this chainmail because we're not gonna use that and these leather boots. I do want to get this ceremonial armor on to. Uh, our big boy. Ornate leather belt gives plus one to strength. I guess we could th we could throw that onto uh, Sten, and that would help a lot. <laughs> Painting of the Rebel Queen it's a, portrays the battle between Orle and Ferelden. The Rebel Queen, with fiery red hair, has climbed atop. Uh, a ruined chariot is holding aloft her battle standard. Okay. Silver Sword of Mercy. <laughs> Blue Satin Shoes. Sorry, I had to mute my microphone again, but... Uh... Who are these for? I, I, I'm going to buy this skill book, though. This is cheap enough that I can just grab these. I'm not sure who they're for, but we're going to grab them. Okay, and let's see... What would that book be under? See, we have four deep mushrooms, so we only need to collect a few more. Actually, we could see if that guy sells any. It wouldn't be... Uh, that great of a... What am I looking for again? 
Uh, I bet. Uh, yeah. Yep. Got to level up out of that. I mean, I didn't get any, like, attribute points, but... Uh... Improved coercion would be good. I feel like we're we're not passing a lot of like speech checks. Oh, we should see if this guy sells the mushrooms. You have coins, stranger. The doors are marked closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Uh, be under crafting. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back out to the map. Go! Go to the map! Yeah, it does throw me off that the, like, random encounter thing is, uh... is the cross sword, so it makes it feel like there's gonna be a battle. Uh, similar to how in the first Fallout game, uh... it's like a little lightning bolt that flashes on the map. Doesn't always mean it's something bad. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. Uh, I I have business here. No, you do not. I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor. <clears throat> Is there a Brandon TV here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Irick will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. This revered father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. I would like to explore. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. Oh yeah, what? Hey, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know if I pointed this out before, but it is interesting that the Chantry, uh, instead of like like how in uh, faith traditions like the Catholic Church, you have you know the priests are men, where and they are referred to as fathers. The Chantry is you know the priests are women. Just an interesting little. It's flip. always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Are your traditions very different from ours? Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. <sighs> I guess we could just... The urn is nothing but a legend. Okay. <laughs> I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. And you don't know if he's here? No. Very well, excuse me. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? No, no, Alistair. You're crackling with sexual energy. There's Interesting strategy. No way. Tell me, do you intend to keep going north until it becomes south and attack the Archdemon from the rear? <laughs> you know what? Oh? Are we in some hurry? I ask your pardon, then. It seemed to me as though we were in the midst of aimlessly climbing a mountain in the middle of nowhere. How will this help him? Yeah, can you think of another way? The Archdemon is our goal, and we are heading away from it to find the charred remnants of a dead woman. I will not simply follow in your shadow as you run from battle. Yeah, I'm straight up na not running from battle. No, you're not. I'm taking command. What? We'll find out, won't we? Defend oh, jeez! Ashkost Kata! If you insist. I'm gonna super cheat and heal. Wouldn't it be funny if I could heal him?
idiot. I was wrong. You are strong enough. What now? Stop being an idiot. As you wish. Like, an, you are stamina proof plus seven. Jeez, ah, what an actual idiot. Like, uh, all right, what's this? Let's see this talent map. Nothing incredible. So I guess we're gonna have to do come, this. Come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up? Were you down? Chasing rabbits around the town. Who are you? You shouldn't be here. Why do all of the kids, like all of the boys, look the same just with different hair? In the chantry. Mother wanted me to go to the chant. But she doesn't get to tell me what to do anymore. I'm sick of listening to Father Eirik, along with the babies and the girls. Soon I'll be old enough to go up the mountain and... Go up the mountain? Nothing. It's just nicer up there. You wouldn't understand. Lowlanders don't belong here. Okay. It popped out like I was going to fight the kid, and that kind of spooked me a little bit. Okay believe this is where we came from oh no no this is a this is a dock see look so, let me get this straight what? you were a cloistered sister you must have been a brother before you became a templar I thought we already had this discussion i never actually became a templar i was recruited into the gray wardens before i took my final vows do you ever regret leaving the chantry no never do you yes you may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Uh, you never know, right? I... No, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. That's... That's cute. I, I feel like we've had this conversation before. Allow me. No. I could do that for you. You can't do that for me, sweet sister. Uh, let's see. Huh. It really doesn't look like... It's, this Navigating this place is a little weird. Villager. Okay. Village shop. Yes. Let's see what's going on here. Shops and taverns. That's that's where we where we look. Who are you? You're not from Haven. <laughs> yeah. We we don't get very many visitors. Yeah, straight no, to the point. I've never heard that name. See, that delivery actually sounds pretty, pretty like like he's not I lying. I think that is for the best. I don't know. These people, these people definitely seem quite xenophobic. I'm sorry. I I still can't get over the fact that I got to fight Sten and put him in his place. Oh, look at this. A little scarecrow. And some pumpkins. Okay, this is... Yeah, back out to the world map. Okay, I guess we just go to the Chantry. <sighs> sort of feels like we're spinning our wheels, you know? Okay, this is... That's the guard we talked to, I think, when we first walked up. This isn't the Chantry. It's just a book. Going. Death of a Templar. Okay. Uh. Well. It's not this house. I'm sure people who've been here are screaming at me that it's super obvious, so I just want to look. Okay. Okay, 
Yeah, if, I guess it feels like it should be up this way more, right? Oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm a fool. I don't know. This is feeling a bit ominous. This pathway. Like, we're... See, we were attacked by cultists. They were trying to defend the ashes. And now we're here... It Which sounds like they are singing the chant in there. Maybe we should have a look. This this feels like we're we're about to roll up into the cult of Andraste, and it's it's gonna be a thing. But also, it feels like uh, perhaps that guy uh, that was impersonating Waylon he probably originated from here. All right, let's go in and see what's going on. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her I understand that you are new here, but common courtesy dictates that one shouldn't interrupt. No matter. We were just about done here anyway. But your reverence, we have not completed the sacraments of the Holy Mother or, or, or sung the invocation. Be calm, Nodda. We have an honored guest. Surely the sacraments can wait. That is all for today, my children. I shall see you tomorrow. For now... I should see to our visitor. It's a cult. We find outsiders disruptive. They bring others. And before long, Haven is changed. We will go to any lengths to prevent that. You understand a man's need to protect his family, don't you? Brothers, oh, geez. you know what must be done. Kill the mage! Okay. What is happening to Alistair? Look at, oh, look at him. He's not having a good time. None of us are having a good time. Uh, let's see. Mind blast. Stunned or knocked back time remaining one. Okay, one second. <laughs> Okay, we need to do some. Jeez, Alistair's like I ain't having none of this cult stuff. Okay, Alistair, attack this guy that's attacking you, and also take a health potion. All right, well, we we bullied that cult. Jeez, the, like blood, <laughs> the blood spray that came off that guard. Ice. Okay, you know what? I'm taking these ice potions because Going. or these ice uh, buffs because yes. we're up in the mountains and I'm just kind of scared we're gonna have to deal with some some ice damage. Uh, cultist medallion, a very large disc bearing the symbol of Andraste, and health poultice. Let's look around the church. I'm expecting to find something about Brother Genitivi. Ring of Faith. Can only be worn by a mage. But okay, you know what? That's that's fine. We have a mage in our group. Hey, we unlocked it. And we got a dagger. I don't know if it's any good compared to what we've got. But... Yeah. 
it appears to be better than the plain dagger that we've got. Okay. Yeah, okay. Making sure that was the right one. Oh, me. You know what? I should... Uh, it's interesting that the the better arrows seem to be. Oh. Okay, that's strange. Oops. Okay. Let's look around a little bit more. Just kind of normal. Normal stuff. Some books on the floor. I'm trying to drag the camera. I'm sorry. Doesn't look like there's anything else to interact with in here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what? The townspeople are not going to be happy that we just killed the cult leader. That... That's a, a false wall. I mean, you can see on the map, obviously, right? Oh, you know what? Who are you? They they sent you to finish it. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I oh, the legs not doing so well and I can't feel my foot. I know that feel, bud. Hey. That's cool. <coughs> Thank you. That... That feels much better. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Yeah, makes sense. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Politics never did anyone any good. Yeah, that's the right. Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes... The ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. Okay, the makes sense. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Funny you should say that. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. All right, sure. Uh, Good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I'll try not to slow us down. Cool. I guess we're just going to go straight to the temple. Uh, I don't know if I've got enough time to talk about this, but I'm, I'm wondering if there's, like, a slight parallel between this, like, Andrasta and, like, the Virgin Mary, if, if there's some kind of connection there. Because, I mean, obviously she's not the god that everybody worships but she's so strongly connected oh this this ice looks a bit uh ooh ooh oh boy here we are give me the medallion and let's see if i remember yes as you see it, it can be manipulated just like this and there a key to open the way Do you know how to do that? There are very few keys like this left in the world, but I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. Mm, this feels like a place. seen this hall in all its splendor as it was meant to be still sweep away the ice and the snow and traces of beauty remain this music this place this feels I'm sorry what uh, 
I was a little distracted. I apologize. Feels like something's gonna These happen here. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. Why do I feel like you're not going to get that time? I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. Okay. I mean, that's interesting take. You have been super helpful. Is there anything I need to know? It was designed to protect the Ann from those who would steal it, or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. I don't intend to harm the Ann. I would hope not. And if the legends speak truly, you will never reach the Ann with malice in your heart. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. <laughs> yeah. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? I'll be right here if you need me. Now I need something to write on. Alright, so we're here in this icy temple of Angasta. And, uh, but it's, it's about that time for us to call it an episode. Oh, oh, don't, don't look at that on the right side of the screen. Pay no attention to that. Um, this is, this just got super interesting. I'm getting a big, uh, like last crusade, like search for the Holy Grail kind of thing here. Like the, like in just a few seconds, you know, we're going to be dealing with a trap and Alistair's going to be wounded and he's going to be like in the other room talking about the, the penitent man, the, the penitent man. It's going to be great. And let's remember, there's no J in Latin. It's it's an I. So, Yehovah. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode where we explore this icy temple. Au revoir.